Buffy and crochet. I guess I should have a crochet hook with Sarah. <laughs> we have a really big, big video today. Lots going on. We're going to do a little crochet together. We're going to talk about next week's big crochet together. We're going to talk about the October giveaway. And I'm very excited about the October giveaway. And y'all know when I start talking about giving stuff away, I start talking too fast. So I'm going to work hard on talking a little bit slower. <laughs> I just love giving stuff away. All right, so we have a little we have a little crochet together today. We're going to have a big one next week I'm going to tell you about. We have a giveaway, and then we have some new items that I'm going to show you, new patterns and new videos, and then also something that's coming up for breast cancer awareness. And you'll notice I have my breast cancer awareness shirt on. It's so funny. My sweater that I'm wearing is actually a bright pink, but it looks red on camera. So just ignore the fact that my clothes clash, okay? <laughs> Isn't that funny how cameras are? Well, I see a bunch of you already, I'm going to say clinking in. All righty. Good morning, everybody. I love seeing all those names. And I also love seeing new names. So make sure if you're new, say it's my first time. Because I don't want to miss anybody. All right. So, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And you all know I lost my mama to breast cancer many years, many years ago, about seven years ago. I miss her still every day. But I like to, to bring awareness because it's not just breast cancer that people are suffering from. There are many kinds of cancer. And so we're going to just do a little ribbon it's the same one we did last year if you did one last year and um, during the month of October and um, I want to make sure that we bring awareness to all cancers because all cancers bring pain and sorrow to us and to our families all right and so I'm we're going to talk a little bit about that and then um, we, we're going to be doing a big crochet together next week and I'll tell you what you need for that so that you can be prepared, okay? But before we do that, it's time to clink in. <laughs> All right, everybody. I've got my fantastic mug that was given to me by my good friend, Kimberly. And I'm drinking coffee out of a coffee cup with coffee cups on it. How more perfect can you get than that? Isn't that adorable? I love it. And I still love it, Kim. Thank you so much for sending this to me. So clinkity, clink, clink, clink. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. I wanted to use this one because of the pink lines going through it. I have a breast cancer awareness mug that I made using Sharpies where I, I drew the pink ribbon on it and colored it in and wrote breast cancer awareness on it. And then I put it in the oven, of course, and cooked it so that it would stay. And then I put it up somewhere, and I can't find it because I only use it, you know, once or twice a year, and so I can't find it. So I thought, this cup is perfect. See those pink ribbons on there? It's perfect. All right, so now um, let's click on over. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> Let's talk about the giveaway for October. Now, we've been doing a lot of chunky yarns, and so I was really excited when this one came in. For our giveaway, we're going to be giving away three skeins of this Wool Ease. It's a bulky number six. Let me look. You're going to get three of them, but let me look on this one so I can give you some info. Each one is five ounces which is 87 yards. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And the neat thing about combining acrylic and wool is you get the stability and the washability of acrylic. And then you add that 20% wool in there <clears throat> and it makes it a little bit warmer and softer. This is a really nice soft yarn. And I have used this one. I have one that has bright orange, no, bright green in it oh like the video like the picture i have one like that one 
that I've used. Actually, there were two of them. Um, so by getting three of them, you're going to get enough to make a hat and a scarf, basically, if you want to do that. Or you can make whatever you want with them. Okay, so you're going to get three of these. Oh, the color. Don't want to forget that. It is called Purple Martin. You know Purple Martin, the bird? It's kind of got a purpley gray tint to it. So isn't that pretty? Look at that. All right, so you'll get three of those. Let me set that aside. You're also going to get a crochet hook to go with that. And this is an N15, which is a 10 millimeter. It is a plastic hook, but it'll work great with these. I'm just going to stuff it right in there. And then you're also going to get, if you win, coffee and crochet with Sarah Project Bag. I just knocked my camera. Let's move that. <laughs> I hit my camera I got so excited that my camera where you see my hands is over here it's kind of hanging down <laughs> and I just smacked it we're gonna use it in a minute I hope I didn't mess it up <laughs> I think I'm having another Monday <laughs> so you're gonna get the coffee and crochet with Sarah project bag three skeins of the wool ease thick and quick and the crochet hook so you can use it immediately without having to run out and get a hook that will work all right I'm gonna shove that back in there and then we'll put everything inside this bag now I bet you're wondering how you can get involved right let's put everything in the pro project bag and I'll set it over here now let me grab a quick sip of coffee here how you can get involved is just a comment just comment and all of you that have already commented on this video you're entered you can also comment over on YouTube <coughs> I got so excited my throat got dry so whether you comment on the Facebook video that we're doing now or later on when I tweak it up and shoot it over to YouTube every comment is entered now you have two weeks two weeks from today I will announce the winner of the October giveaway and that's the way that I always like to do it <clears throat> I like to give you two weeks to enter give you time to get in here and see it and enter and then that gives you two weeks I used to try to wait the whole month, but people would forget, and then I had trouble getting a hold of people because they forgot they entered, and so that's why I like to kind of do the two weeks. I think it works great, and I love doing it. So, isn't that a great giveaway? All righty, and that's Lion Brand, I believe. Did I say that? Let me look in this bag real quick. Yes, Lion Brand. Lion Brand Wool Ease, three five-ounce bulky six skeins the crochet hook and a project bag now I'm almost out of the project bag so once they're gone I won't be able to give them away anymore I am working on a way to get some more made but <clears throat> we're, we're changing it just a little bit because what's happening is see these squares that are around the cup and around the heart these lines when we get them made sometimes those lines don't come out very good so I'm removing those lines and trying to do it just it's it might be a little bit uh, more compact but we're still gonna try to make it so make them so hang on we may have more okay but at least we've got one for the the next three months October November and December I have three more bags that I can give away so you have three more chances to get a bag <laughs> all right isn't that fun all right what was that I can't wait for the washcloth crochet line for October it's gonna be fun it's a little bit different and I, I just got all the tests back it's ready to go so that'll be in a couple weeks as well it's a little bit different than what we've done and I think you're gonna like it <clears throat> all right are you ready to do our little ribbon crochet along together or what not not crochet along but crochet together let's click over here i did kind of knock my camera off kilter a little bit so i had this all lined up but it's okay <laughs> i can't believe i knocked my camera all right so this is a, a breast cancer awareness ribbon in the pink that we did last year and of course you can do whatever colors that you want i like to put the three together 
because the three together, uh, the purple, the pink, and the teal are the thyroid cancer awareness ribbon, which is the cancer that I had. Okay, so it's really super simple. I've got an H hook, and I've got some acrylic medium weight number four yarn, a needle, and a pair of scissors. And all you do is you chain 24 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. All right, so I've got 24 chains. <clears throat> I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then I'm going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. So that'll give me 10 altogether. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, and ten. So I have ten single crochets, counting that first one we put in the second chain from the hook. Now in the next three chains we're going to stitch two single crochets, and that's going to give us our curve at the top. So one, two, one, two, one, and two. And see how that caused that to curve around? <clears throat> Move those a little bit. All right, so now I'm just going to single crochet in those last chains. And we'll just single crochet back down. Super simple. Now, if you want the breast cancer awareness ribbon or or whatever color that you want to make it, the one with the wings, I posted it in the uh, PPD Peppy Love group this morning because a lot of people do ask for that one, and it's not mine, it's somebody else's, but it is a wonderful pattern. All right, so I single crocheted back down. So basically, we have 10 single crochets, then we have two in the next three, and then we have 10 single crochets. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that. All right, now I need to take my needle and weave those in, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to cut another piece of yarn so that we can tack it together. Now you can add a button or a ribbon, a pearl. You know, I like to take a, maybe a button off of something that the person that I'm missing or the person that is fighting cancer loves to wear and add that button. Or um, I took a pearl off of one of my mom's earrings and I put one right there. <clears throat> so it can be a memento and it can also be something to remind you to pray for that person and fight with that person. Not fight like beat them up, but fight with them for their cancer. Okay, so I just, I like just to make a little X there. Tack that down. Then I go to the back and tie that on. Sometimes when someone is suffering from an illness or even cancer, because that's what we're talking about today, and uh, you love that person, it's really hard to watch them suffer and watch them fight. And by making some ribbons like this, you can tell them, I am fighting with you to beat this and that I care. Because sometimes it's really hard to know what to say. And I know there were a lot of times, you know, I spent a lot of time in the hospital with my mom and, and going to different treatments with the chemo and the radiation and things. And I didn't know what to say. And usually I said, can I get you a cheeseburger? Because we would go and spend the whole day and there'd be a lot of people there that didn't think to bring food. And there was a restaurant called Brahms, which is one of my favorite restaurants in Oklahoma. And I would just go and get about 10 cheeseburgers and come back and pass them out. Because, you know, you just don't know what to say when someone's fighting cancer. You want to be there for them. You want them to know you love them and just be with them. And so <clears throat> whatever cancer that a person that's a loved one or a friend that's fighting, you can wear this pin, pass some out, put it on a safety pin, <clears throat> and just let them know that you are with them and fighting with them. You know, it, because it is one of those things where, um, um, 
you don't know what to say. You can't say, you know, it, it, it just, a lot of times they don't even need you to say anything. I know when I was going through some of my thyroid issue things, I really didn't need anyone to say anything just to be there and let me know they care for me. And those that did really, really meant a lot to me, you know. And so um, this pattern is, of course, on the blog. And I want to give you a little tip. <clears throat> if you go to my Facebook page, which those of you who are watching on Facebook are on, you'll see that there is, if you go to the About section, or I think I posted it, on the top of my of that Facebook page is the link to my blog okay if you click on that it'll take you to my blog and over on the side it says follow with email and that's how you get my what I call my newsletter every Tuesday after I um, do the live video I send out that newsletter and it's done by that email address that is in that blog. I don't have your email addresses. I don't, I don't keep them. They're put in that list. And then when I send that blog out, um, my blog uh, goes out to your email automatically, okay? And that way, all the patterns that we do <clears throat> in our crochet togethers on our live videos, they're not put on um, um, Google, other than just, you know, um, in the live video. They aren't written out anywhere. You won't find them on Ravelry or um, All Free Crochet or anything like that. All these patterns are only, the ones that are done in our live videos, are only put out on that blog. And so all you have to do is click that blog link on my Facebook page. And then over there, I think it's on the right side Right, I've got like some little buttons that say, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or whatever. Underneath that is just a little thing. And it, let me, um, you know, I'm going to see if I can pull it up on my iPad so I can show it to you real quick. But anyway, all you have to do is put your email address in there and you'll get, you will get the weekly um, newsletter. The newsletter will also have... Um, all the links for all the patterns that I did during the week because I repost them that way <clears throat> okay my iPad's a little slow coming up it's an older iPad sorry but when it does I'll show it to you okay um, so but what happens is when I'm done with this video I always make a blog there's two ways you can find it actually you can go to YouTube and find the blog that's the live one that I did today and then I loaded it on YouTube underneath YouTube there'll be a link that you can go to you can follow it that way or you can just go to the blog right off my Facebook page let me see if it loaded this all right it's, it's just slow my, my iPad is an older iPad and I'm just don't want to spend the $700 to get a new one so I just keep updating it you know so once it once that comes up, I'll I'll show that to you. All right, um, and we'll get back to that. If it doesn't come up, don't worry about it. You know how to find it now. But anyway, next week I want to do a what I call a crochet together. Okay, and what we're gonna do is let me grab these. We're going to make some towel toppers together, and I I bought these from Hobby Lobby. This one here has puppies on it. This one has kitty cats. All of Hobby Lobby's fall stuff, I think, is 40% off. And so I bought one of each. And I'm going to show you how to take a dishcloth. It can be a bathroom towel that's the same size that we use in the kitchen. And all you need, I'm going to show you how to make a topper on it that you don't need any buttons or anything for. It's a flip through. And all you need is to do this with us together is your a washcloth, not washcloth, a dish towel, one cotton. And I've got a couple here. You can use peaches and cream. You can use I love this cotton or you can use Premier or whatever cotton that you have on hand. You're going to need about two and a half to three ounces of a medium number four. You'll need your H hook and you'll need your needle. All right. And we're going to do that next week. And I wanted to tell you about it because I think it's going to be fun. 
And something that I, I really enjoyed when we did our crochet together where we did the graph. Yes, the video ends up being about 10 more minutes longer, but it's so much fun. And again, these things that I do on the live video can only be found on the blog. Okay, I, it came up. Let me see. Where'd you go? There it is. Oh. All right, I'm going to click back down over here to my other camera. I want to show you this. We'll see if we can get this without it. Okay, here is the blog. You can see there's the picture on the top. Over here, see where these little green buttons are? Right underneath that, it says follow by email. All you do is you put your email address in there and put submit. That's all you do. I do not have anything to do with your email addresses. It goes to the list. And then on Mondays and any other day I write a new blog, it automatically just sends it over to your email. That way you'll never miss the patterns that we do on the live video as well as anything that I do that's new. All right, so I just wanted to show that to you. All right, so we've done our, our, our ribbon. I told you about next week's crochet together. We talked about the live video or the uh, giveaway. I got too much on my mind. <laughs> So much going on all right let's talk about what we did this week at posh pooch designs for new patterns now you'll, you can see back there the one doll head is wearing the little monster hat that we made and this is what it looks like it's super cute and this is an opportunity for you to learn how to do the foundation double crochet i get people all the time that say i don't know how to do it but it's really simple and it makes a nice stretchy beanie okay and it this is done in front post then we or yes and then we do front loop for the edge and then the rest is all done in double crochets and you can do the eyes and the mouth and the antlers however you want to you can do whatever yarns you want to it's a medium weight number four i liked striping it you could use a, one that automatically stripes. You could use a variegated. You could stripe every other row, however you want to do it. It's just a fun little pattern. And I love every year around October to put out a some sort of a silly hat that you can use if you want to for Halloween. Now, we don't, we don't get trick-or-treaters where we're at. All our houses are 5 to 10 acres, uh, lots. And so we don't get trick-or-treaters out here. But I used to love to put on a silly hat and answer the door now i don't know how that's going to work in most areas here in parker we usually do trunk or treat downtown and so i don't know you know they i haven't heard what they're going to do for that yet but either way this is a super fun hat the other really cool thing about it is it is super easy to adjust you adjust it because three of these foundation double crochets equal an inch so you can add or subtract however many inches that you need and because it's not an intricate pattern it's just double crochets it's super easy to adjust so that's our silly monster beanie hat <laughs> the other thing we did if you look back there let me click over to that other camera so you can see it up close is we did remember we did the super chunky hat well we did the super chunky cowl to go along with it and this would be a great set to use this um, yarn that you got if you win our giveaway. But it's super pretty and super chunky. And I, it's one of those things that just makes a great gift. And I really, really love it. All right. Now, the other thing we did was this blanket that's behind me. This is our super snuggle blanket. This is made with that I want to make a blanket yarn. It's a bulky number six. And you can really use any bulky number six to make this blanket. And it, it, it works out really big and squishy. After I made this blanket, I had about uh, maybe uh, a third of the second one left. Because you used two great big, I want to make a blanket, cakes. 
And so I decided that I'll just make a blanket and see how big it gets. It's the perfect size for my dogs. <laughs> and I have it sitting on the couch downstairs where we watch TV. And they love it. Maximo, you know, he always likes to like push the blankets up and squish them around and get down in there. He just loves it because it's super soft. So anyway, we did that this week also. Now, we've got some really interesting patterns that we have coming up. One of them that we're going to be doing is the Quillo. And this is a bag. And inside the bag is a blanket. Whoops, about drop my notes. Okay, it's a blanket you fold up. And what it, what it is, and, and you can wrap yourself up in it and put your feet in the bag. You can use it as a pillow. And so we're calling it, we called it the Quillo, blanket in a bag. And because it is so detailed, we're going to be doing it in two videos. We're going to do the bag one time, one video, probably next Monday. And then on Wednesday, we'll do the blanket and show you how to add it to the bag and how to fold it up. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still working out some of the details for videoing because I want to try to video it from way up high so that I can show you how to fold the blanket to get it back inside the bag. And because <laughs> this is a pattern I wrote a few years ago and I have gotten so many requests to do it. And so I decided to wait until Breast Cancer Awareness Month because I did it in pink and white. And it's a lap style blanket. It's not great big, but you can make it bigger if you want to. It's, um, it, it, originally I made it to uh, take to chemo because they have to keep the rooms really cold. And <clears throat> it works out great. I'm trying to roll it back in here so you can see it again. And it rolls back inside. You can use it as a pillow. You can use it as a bag because if you're going to go and spend the day doing chemo, because chemo takes a day. I mean, it takes all day long. I'm used to, when I used to take my mom, we'd get there at 8 and we'd leave about 4.30 in the afternoon. And so you can put some snacks in here and some drinks, a book. We used to play games <clears throat> and I'd put, sometimes we'd bring a little puzzle and stuff like that. And so it, it's a great bag. It's also a great bag just for traveling or to keep in your car. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, next Monday, uh, we're going to do the bag. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to show you, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, as I always say, I'm going to show you how to make the blanket and then put it all together. So I'm still, like I said, I'm still working the logistics of how to film it from way up high, but we'll get it done. Okay. And so, and it's all done with medium weight, number four yarns, nothing special. And so, and, and like I said, I did it pink and white because it was for breast cancer. But remember, any pattern, whether it's for breast cancer or not, can be done in any colors that you want. You know, this would be great. Someone, uh, you know, a child or something going through cancer or just going through some sort of an illness or just going on a trip, make it in their favorite colors, you know, and you don't have to do two colors. You can do all the colors that you want to. But anyway, I've had a lot of requests, and you can see this one's been used a lot. It's well-worn, and, and I love it, and I, I do like taking it with me when I go places. I take it sometimes when I have a doctor's appointment because I uh, my back kind of gets sore, and I can put it behind my back while I'm waiting, and I can put things in it. <laughs> like I said, snacks. <laughs> I like, I like to take those fruit snacks. I don't know why. They're, they're for the kids, but I like them. <laughs> so anyway, that's our Quillo, and we're going to be doing that next week. So I wanted to let you know about that. All right, so to get ready for next week, well, don't forget about the giveaway. You can tell your friends or not. For, depends on what chances you want. <laughs> I think it's a great giveaway, and I think it's going to be super fun, whoever gets it. All right, now, for next week, just to recap what we're doing, I'm going to move this stuff so you can see better. All right, let's go back down to the top cam real quick before we go. You're going to need a, oh, there's my notes. You don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah, see my scratch on my arm? I was clipping my rose bushes. Anyway, you're going to need a towel, a dish towel. And you're going to need about 
two and a half to three ounces of a cotton yarn. And some people do make these out of acrylic. That's totally up to you if you want to. And I was going to grab my crochet hook. Oh, I dropped it on the ground. Give me two seconds. There we go. You're going to need your H crochet hook. <clears throat> Scissors. And you'll need a needle. You don't need any buttons or anything else. And what you can do... Oh, you will probably want to have a ruler handy. Because we're going to mark off... Um, with a ruler. I forgot about that and I didn't grab my ruler. You will need a ruler or a straight edge that you can mark off <clears throat> where we're going to do uh, add on the yarn. You don't need anything to poke holes. You don't need anything to make a ring or anything like that. This is going to be super easy and I think you're really going to like doing it. All right, so make sure you give yourself about 40 minutes for next week's video because it will be just a little bit longer because of the crochet together. <clears throat> and you know, as hard as I try not to talk too fast, I still do. <laughs> so anyway, what's on my arm there? Oh, piece of yarn. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for being a part of Posh Pooch Designs. Thank you for being a part of Coffee and Crochet with Sarah. And like I say, I love all of the, what was that question real quick? Would Karen Latte work for the Quillo? It will if it's a medium four. I haven't looked at mine. I haven't, I think it is. The thing is though, because of the pattern you might lose the pattern, uh, the, way, the way the pattern looks in that fuzzy yarn. So keep that in mind as well. But you could, you could still do it. It just, it wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see the intricacy of the pattern. So some of those fuzzy yarns don't work as well with the pattern, but it will still work. You, you just lose the intricacy. So anyway, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go. And again, thank you, because I can't do any of this without all of you. We'll see you next week.